Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a fab day. We are on to episode 10? I mean, that's crazy. I, it felt like yesterday that I started this Let's Play. <laughs> we started this Let's Play about two weeks ago when Eco Lifestyle came out and I think we are doing pretty well, you know? I think we are doing well in our career and we've hit about, what, five episodes a week, which is pretty impressive. A lot happened in episode nine. It got a wee bit spicy at the Spice Festival, you may have seen. At the end of the last episode, we left it on a high. Chase moved into our new house and so we are now a two-person household, not a one-person household, which is really lovely. I think that Susie and Chase were getting on really well and I think it was really nice of them to move in together. I think they'll they'll do really well for each other and hopefully you guys are getting on with your build for my build challenge. If you've forgotten already I gave you the challenge of building Susie's new dream eco house in Evergreen Harbour. I will link all of the details to the build rules video up somewhere in the video and I'll leave it in the description if I forget so please do check that out it's only a three minute video and I just go over some of the rules that I well there's not a lot of rules it's very very open we've now actually got nearly 60 grand in in the bank because Chase moved in so we obviously got that 20 grand from his household I'm going to keep it that way I'm not doing a rags to riches so I don't really care but I think that Chase would probably move over some money considering the fact that he doesn't have a job. We found that out at the end of the last episode. But in terms of this episode, we have a lot to do. So last episode, we got promoted to level eight of our civic planner career. Today is Sunday when we're starting this episode. I would ideally like to get promoted on Monday. We could get promoted on Monday and then possibly get promoted later on in the week. So we are at level 10 by the end of next week in terms of Sims weeks. What we want to do is we do want to level up to level 10 in our career currently and then we can move on to the freelance crafter career and we can calm things down a bit because Susie's worked really, really hard. She has not had a lot of time to herself and I think by Chase moving in, she is starting to realise that she is getting to the top of her career and she does want to have a life. She wants to live a life with Chase and I think that's a beautiful thing. That's my plans for today. So, so there's going to be a lot of skill building and not a lot of gameplay in terms of that. So I apologise for that. But it will be worth it because in the next couple of episodes we can definitely take some more downtime and have a bit more fun. We need to have some sleep. She is currently cleaning her solar panel. But yeah, I'm going to get Susie to go to sleep and I will meet you back in the morning when she has woken up again and we can take a look at the situation then. Okay, okay everyone, so we have just woken up and we are getting our needs nice and high. Now, there may be a slight difference since recording was <laughs> for some reason my game decided to crash last night when I thought I could record this episode. So I'm doing it on Saturday. Yeah, so this is our first night with, with Chase living in our house. Now, I think I might actually do a little makeover for Chase because I'm not sure this crop top is the best option. So it's Sunday today and what we need to do today is we do need to get our charisma and our logic up to the next levels so that hopefully either tomorrow or on Tuesday we can get promoted. And if we get promoted, that would be like amazing because then okay. we're literally only one step away from, from completing the career, which is which is awesome. So I think today is going, well, Sunday in terms of sim days is gonna be quite boring because we do need to get those skills up before Monday. We also need to try and get this last signature for free love because remember last time we didn't quite do it. So we do need to find someone else that can help us uh, sign the signature. So that's what we will try and do as well today. Jeffrey Langrand here I mean we could try and get his signature I will get on with that I will uh, let you know if there are any developments throughout the day we've been chatting to Jeffrey and 
Mortimer trying to get repeal signatures, but we ended up getting a level up in our charisma skill anyway, so that's fantastic. So we are one step closer to getting promoted tomorrow. So if we can get our logic skill up tonight, then we are bang ahead to get promoted tomorrow, which is just so good. But I do need to get this last signature. No, Mortimer. Okay, so we just got our last signature from... Alika and so we should hopefully get free love repealed tomorrow I mean Sunday's kind of lost to us and, and I'm sorry guys about that but I really really want to get promoted tomorrow so that we can really focus on getting promoted later in the week so I'm going to focus on getting her logic up getting her knees up in general and I'll probably meet you back tomorrow hopefully or Monday and we would have been promoted by then okay so Susie has gone off to work we managed to get her logic done at like 5 a.m in the morning so she is she has got all of the things ready to go so fingers crossed she will get promoted today and we can get one step closer to level 10 but I thought we could kind of focus on Chase today because he doesn't have a job I think that Susie you know being the independent person that she is I think she would like her man to get a job yeah and especially they're saving up for a house they've decided they're gonna save up for a house I'm not sure if if I want him to go into the same thing so civil designer I'm not sure if I want him to go for that I mean I know the other one was the freelancer career we decided that we were going to do the freelance crafter with Susie later on so I think with Chase we'll have a little look at his skills and see what kind of things he likes his skills are pretty bad but he is very good at programming apparently so we could get him to go into the tech career okay perfect so he does have a job now and his task is to play video games. I mean, isn't that doesn't that sound perfect? There are a few things kind of broken around the house, so we'll get him to fix those, and then we'll meet back up with Susie once she comes back from work, and I will let you know what happens. Okay, so Susie has come back from work, and she has been promoted. Yes, so she's been promoted to a municipal engineer. She now gets paid three six four per hour, and she's got a cheeky bonus of two thousand five hundred and fifty simoleons. She works slightly earlier, but she does have an extra day off during the week so that could be good in terms of us getting our skills up so let's have a little look at what we need to do so we need to get to logic level nine and we need to get to charisma level seven and then we are the city master planner which is just mental <laughs> but she is very very tired i mean she was up quite late last night trying to get her logic skill up and i thought we could do a cheeky makeover of chase so i will do that with you on this i will speed it up for you guys so i'll do like a speed through of me changing his outfits and stuff and you can see what the end result is so i just did chase's makeover sorry i i jumped out of create a sim there but you'll see his new outfits um as he's as he's going about but we will try and focus on chase a little bit more whilst susie's at work because obviously we want chase to to be part of the the let's play because he is a he is a big part of it and we want him to be successful in his career and also in his life in general we just got a pop-up saying voting is now closed and free love was repealed so we should be able to vote for a new nep on friday our money has gone up significantly since yesterday which is so good what i'll do is i'll meet up with you when 
these two have got their needs up really nice and high and we'll have a look and see what's going on okay so i just thought i'd update you not a lot's happened we had this woman basically stay all night in our house <laughs> and play the computer even though we don't know her uh susie's just about to go to work obviously with her new um times she starts work at six she's off to work now and we will see them both when they come back from work okay so susie has just come back from work her performance has gone up to good which is always good <laughs> she just want a day off but don't worry because it's winter fest tomorrow and so we could decorate the house and make it all pretty and we could also work on our skills tomorrow as well so don't forget that but i will get susie's needs up first of all I'm going to get their needs up and i'm also going to try and get Susie's logic and charisma up um, a little bit so that we are in a better position for Thursday Friday might even get promoted Thursday Friday who knows it's Winterfest tomorrow so I will meet you all then okay so it's currently the morning it is Winterfest and it's Susie and Chase's first Winterfest in the Sims and also their first Winterfest together so it's a beautiful moment and you're all here to witness it with the moi we have changed around a few things I decided to put the insects under this uh roof here because i thought that out in the cold it might be affecting them a little bit i don't know we'll just have a beautiful winter fest and we might even get our skills up i don't know so i'm gonna get susie to cook a grand meal we'll get her to cook a ham dinner seeing as we have two sets of vegetables we will join them for their winter fest meal once it's ready okay so they are currently eating their first winter fest meal together having a great time <laughs> in this very beige boring house but hopefully you guys getting on with your beautiful houses they can spend the next winter fest hopefully in a beautiful house but whilst we are in this opportunity we might as well try and get our charisma skill up by talking to chase but yeah we'll let them enjoy their dinner and i will meet back up with you after this dinner who's that at our door let me guess tina yep there she is i was gonna get them to decorate the tree but you know how long it takes the sims to do it so i've just decided to get it already done <laughs> we will wait for father winter come to come later and we'll see what gifts he has to bring us i'll meet you later on when father winter shows up okay so father winter has showed up we've tried to get our logic skill up and we've got it to 32 so that's not too bad but it is taking a long long time to get it up it really really is <laughs> we'll try and get a gift from him whilst we're here we got a crisponics ultra grate with deluxe crisper i think it might be a fridge oh chase got a karaoke machine mother winter must really like us okay let's go into our household inventory and check it out we have a cheaper fridge so let's get the brand spanking new one in and we got this karaoke machine as well which we could sell we don't really have space for it in here so i think i'll just sell it we will get our needs up and i will see you when these guys have come back from work charisma is nearly at 50 percent and her logic is the worst and the logic's going to take the longest i think just because of the high level she's at i'm going to try and get that up as much as possible tonight we probably won't get promoted tomorrow i highly doubt it um it will take a long long time to get 70 percent worth of logic <laughs> but we should be in a good position to get promoted on monday next week so let me get on with that and i will see you later if anything happens okay so i just thought i'd jump in and say that chase got promoted it as well so he's now on quality assurance and so he's now to the second level which is fantastic and I also bought a chess table because I don't know I think the books are probably the slowest way of getting your logic up so I decided to buy a chess table and hopefully that will get our logic up nice and high it also improves our fun we always need that I will meet back up with you in the morning I'll let you know what's happened and then we can see them off to work okay so it's currently the morning it's Friday and I decided to let Susie have the day off today because her work performance is actually on excellent already so going to work wouldn't change that at all i thought we could use the extra day to try and get our logic and charisma up because it's taking so long to do so voting is also open today so we can go and have a look at the naps too during the day chase is at work today i'm gonna send him to work as normal susie is just having some food just now so we'll let her get her needs up okay guys we managed to get susie's logic up to level nine we actually managed to do it we just got her to go on the chess table and she was so focused and stuff that the logic just went up really really 
quickly. So we actually managed it. I'm so chuffed because <laughs> Charisma is going to be fairly easy to get up. We're already halfway there and we've still got Saturday and Sunday off. So we are definitely, definitely getting promoted on Monday. I mean, well, maybe. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so, guys. So, okay, so these are the NAPs that we've currently got. So we have the green initiatives in conversation, we have tech support, and we have the upcycling initiative. These all kind of work in our favour, let's not lie. I think what we might vote for is the clean energy production. Because we've got the solar panels in our house, it means that we get more influence by owning these products. I do want to get some wind turbines as well. So I think I'm going to vote for this. I've got 181 points. And I also said in the last part, I don't know if you remember guys, but I said that I thought we could change from a community garden into a marketplace. So I think that's what we'll do as well, just so I don't forget because my memory is really, really bad. So we'll head over there just now and we will vote for that. Okay, so we are at the community lot just now and we are going to place our vote for the marketplace so once this community lot changes into a marketplace what we can do next week is we can focus on our candle making because that is what we need to do for our aspiration anyway so we do need to make 20 candles we already have quite a lot of candles in our inventory anyway and we can sell them for a good bit of money and we can get some money for our new house okay so whilst we were at the community lot i, I didn't tell susie to do this but she started to talk to this guy Matthias, and it looks like he is a new townie that came with the eco lifestyle pack because he is curious so he's a recycled disciple and we just got chatting at the community lot and he's really nice like we became good friends so let me know if you'd like to see more of Matthias it is New Year's Eve tomorrow so I think what we would do is we'll invite him round we could have a, a party we could invite Tina obviously Chase is there we'd have Matthias we'll probably finish the episode on the new year so new beginnings you know we are literally only 12 points away from getting our charisma up to the top so we are definitely 100% in a good position to get promoted on Monday but I will meet you tomorrow and we can do some fun stuff tomorrow on Saturday when everyone has a day off I'll see you in the morning okay so it's currently the morning it is New Year's Eve or Hogmanay as we like to say here in Scotland they are just having a good day I thought they could maybe go on a date to celebrate the end of the year and we will obviously have a cheeky party at the end of the night to celebrate the bells she's got a drink already okay so tina has come round she seems to get on very well with chase and i noticed that they had a cheeky romantic encounter we have just had Knox show up at our house too he says got a minute to help me with some recyclables I heard you have a recycler and if you let me use it I'll give you all the bits and pieces yes that sounds fantastic okay so it's currently New Year's Eve and it's also the romance festival so I have brought everyone here just for a bit of fun and we've got the whole crew here we've got Tina I thought they could just have a bit of time here and just chill okay so we just got another phone call about our grand great grand grandfather <laughs> passing away and i always pick that under what conditions option for this but i think i'm gonna do this one very well however now that you've accepted i must inform you that you will only get this money if you become married within seven days those are the terms good luck and congratulations on the next chapter in your life <gasps> oh my goodness susie is currently in a relationship with Chase. She moved in with Chase. They're very, they've been together for a long time, uh, quite a long time now, but she has met Matthias. Now, do we think we should change things? Do you think we should change things up? I mean, there's obviously been some history. He is complimenting Tina's appearance. I did not pick that for him. So he is quite actually quite flirtatious with Tina so something's obviously happened in the past there is something going on between these two and it has been happening under Susie's nose because Susie is obviously best friends with Tina and she's obviously going out with Chase I, I don't think Susie deserves that I think she deserves the best so what do you think we should do I, th I think it's just a bit mean of Tina you know she's been very nice to us and yet she's been flirting with our boyfriend the whole time so what do you think we should do we've got to get married to get this money now in terms of the money we're not doing too bad for money but i thought we would just to look at the options so we have to get married within seven days in order to get the inheritance so do you think we should get married do you think we should get married in the first place and if you do think we should get married do you think we should get married to chase 
do you think we should get married to Mateus? Who's team Chase and who's team Mateus? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> we don't want to spoil New Year's, do we? We'll let them have fun to for tonight. We'll see in the New Year. Okay, so I've brought everyone back to the house so that we can watch the TV for the New Year's celebrations. And I invited all the OGs to the house. But yes, yeah, it's, it's been an eventful New Year's Eve, you know? So it's just been a new year in The Sims. Uh, all of The Sims have celebrated the new year. Let me know what you want to happen. We do have to get this inheritance money because it could totally improve our funds. I don't know how much we're going to get. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I'm sorry it's been a little bit kind of here and there and everywhere. It's because we were trying to get promoted and guys, we hopefully will get promoted on Monday. We've got logic, we've got charisma. We are right, well, we've nearly got charisma. We're like right there. So we're definitely gonna get promoted on Monday. I can feel it. And then we're at the top of our career and we can focus on a different career. So trust me, like the next couple of episodes are gonna be a lot more fun. They're gonna be a lot more interactive and stuff. Leave any comments down below. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And please, subscribe if you haven't already i hope you all have a fantastic day and i will see you all in the next episode bye bye guys i hope you have a great day